Is this the best smartphone gimbal of 2020? This is the Moza Mini MX gimbal and it just came out. This video, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of how this gimbal works and how it's gonna optimize your smartphone videography, as well as four reasons why I think you should get this gimbal. There'll also be lots of sample footage if you wanna see just how good this gimbal is. And stay tuned to the very end because we're gonna be giving away this gimbal to one of you lucky viewers out there. First of all, what is a gimbal? A gimbal is a device like this, which stabilizes your camera so you can get ultra smooth footage. Gimbals come in all shapes and sizes, and a lot of them are bigger to support DSLRs and mirrorless cameras, but a lot of modern gimbals are really small and compact for smartphones. And the reason is smartphone cameras are getting really, really good. In fact, I use my smartphone, my Samsung Galaxy S10, to shoot a lot of B-roll and even vlog with it when I don't feel like hauling a big camera with me. So if you're one of those people that like to use your smartphones for video, then a gimbal is one of the best accessories you can get for smartphone videos. Because this is a newer gimbal, it's compatible with a lot of modern smartphones, including the Samsung Galaxy S10 and the S9, even the Samsung Galaxy Note, which is a bigger phone. It's also compatible with iPhones, including the iPhone 11 and the iPhone XS. So key benefit number one is how small and compact this gimbal is. And to demonstrate that, I'm gonna have to power this gimbal off and when I do that you see exactly what this gimbal looks like when it's not powered on and in this state it's offering no support whatsoever for my phone but we're gonna go ahead and unclip the phone from the gimbal now you can see what the gimbal looks like straight out of the box. So the first piece to focus on is this mini tripod here, and you don't have to have the mini tripod on the gimbal to use it, but it's really handy if you ever want to set the gimbal down on a flat surface and have both of your hands free. But you can also take that mini tripod off. And now we have the bare gimbal. And as you can see, there are three moving parts here. If you're gonna use the gimbal with the phone, then you wanna make sure that all those parts are unlocked. But if you're gonna put the gimbal away and you wanna have it be the smallest size possible, then make sure to lock all three axes. So in a few quick moves, we have our gimbal folded down and you can see just how small it is. It's about the size of my hand. Uh, Moza actually says that it's palm sized and I admit I have smaller hands, so it's a little bit bigger than palm size for me but for average hand sizes, yeah, I'd say it's about palm sized. So when it's folded down, this gimbal is so tiny, it fits into my purse, it fits into my Think Tank Turnstyle 10 bag, which is the main bag that I use for my mirrorless cameras. So it's a really nice size. And I like this because my original gimbal that I used for my smartphone didn't fold down, so I had to carry a dedicated case just for my gimbal. And it was really bulky. So I love how small this gimbal can get. For comparison, here is my Samsung Galaxy S10, and you can see it's more or less like the same height. Reason number two why the Moza Mini MX is the best gimbal of 2020 is that it's super easy to use. It's almost a plug and play gimbal. So to do that, let's go ahead and unfold it. You'll see just how fast it is to get this gimbal set up. To attach your smartphone, all you have to do is use this clip in front and there is a red arrow pointing in the direction that your camera should be facing. But when you're attaching your phone, make sure that your front screen is facing you and your rear cameras are facing backwards. And then to turn it on, all we do is press and hold the power button. And now our gimbal is ready to use. That was super fast and easy, wasn't it? Now before you use your gimbal, you wanna make sure to charge it. And there is a USB-C port right here. It comes with a USB-C cable, and all you do is plug it into a wall, let it charge for about two and a half hours to get fully charged. And once the gimbal's fully charged, it will last about 20 hours. Or at least that's what Moza said. I haven't used it for 20 hours straight, but I've used it for about a half day of filming, and this gimbal has gone strong for that full half day. One other tip is that when you first unbox this gimbal and use it, you'll probably have to do a firmware update to so make sure that you're by a power source because you're gonna wanna make sure that your gimbal is fully juiced up and your phone has some battery life in it as well because you have to connect the gimbal to your Moza Genie app in order to do that firmware update. So that leads me to the next point where you can use this gimbal just as is using your native camera app or any app of your choosing on your phone. You don't have to use the Moza Genie app but to get the most out of this gimbal, 
you're gonna wanna use it with the Mozagini app. But before we talk about that app, let's go over some of the features that you can use without connecting your phone to the gimbal. Probably the easiest and most straightforward thing to do is just to use that joystick to pan left and right and up and down. That's a super handy and really nice feature. And you can do that, again, without using the Mozagini app. So we're here in the rainforest and we found some of the coolest trees that we've ever seen in our entire lives. So I'm gonna show you a really cool one right here. Next, if you get your gimbal in a funky position and you just wanna recenter or reset everything, there's a toggle button up front and if you just tap it twice, it recenters your gimbal. Comes in really handy when you're first learning to use this gimbal and you might get into some weird modes. The next thing you can do really easily is tap that power button in the middle three times. When you do that, you can flip between horizontal mode and vertical mode on your phone. So this is super useful for shooting social media content for Instagram stories, TikTok, Snapchat, things like that. I love the fact that you can easily go between vertical and horizontal mode. And the final feature we're talking about is inception mode. So if you hold down the zoom out button on the gimbal, your phone is going to go into inception mode. And you'll have to toggle the joystick left and right to get inception mode to work, but it's a really fun creative way to get a unique angle. So now let's talk about connecting your phone to the gimbal. And that is point number three of how easy it is to do that. There are some older smartphone gimbals where you have to fiddle with a key and actually physically connect the phone to your gimbal, which can get really messy and really confusing. But with the Moza Mini MX, all you do is power on the Bluetooth in the gimbal and connect to your phone via your phone's Bluetooth, which is cordless and really easy to do. Once you do that, the gimbal can kind of serve as a remote control so you can access functions of your smartphone camera if you're using the Moza Genie app. This doesn't work if you're using any other camera apps on your phone so you're tied to using the Moza Genie app, but it's actually a really good app with a lot of features. So once you connect the gimbal to your phone, open up that Moza Genie app and you can start to use the buttons on the gimbal to control aspects of your filming. So one of the first things you can do is use the buttons on the gimbal to zoom in and out of your subject. And that's really handy because if you don't do that, then you have to physically touch your phone like to pinch to zoom or touch the little buttons on your phone. And when you do that, that messes up the stabilization. Another thing you can do is tap that power button on the gimbal twice. And that switches between photo mode and video mode. That's the same button where if you triple tap it, it goes between horizontal mode and vertical mode. And finally, you have that smart trigger button on the front of the gimbal. If you tap that trigger once, you can follow the center of your shot so you can almost do like a little orbit around your subject. You can also triple tap that front trigger to toggle between your rear camera and your front facing camera. All right, I'm also testing out the Moza Mini X with the vertical mode. So let's do some walking. Let's see what that's like. And if I want to, I can go with the rear facing camera. All right, rear facing camera, vertical on. So those are the main features that you can unlock whenever you use the gimbal along with the Moza Genie app on your smartphone. It can seem like a lot because it does take a lot of practice to figure out which buttons do what, how many taps does it take to switch to this mode or that mode. But once you get it down, it's really nice because this gimbal sort of acts as a remote control or an extension of your phone. And that's really great because it really extends the capability of the gimbal. Besides being a stabilizer, it gives you the ability to control your phone and unlock different features of it by just using one hand. Now at this point, it's worth mentioning that the only problems that I've had with this gimbal relate to connecting the gimbal to my smartphone. And whenever I have that problem, the best way to troubleshoot it is just to reset the Bluetooth feature on your gimbal and potentially reset the Bluetooth on your phone. If you you do that then typically it will resolve the connection pretty easily. And the fourth and final reason why you should get this gimbal is that it is super stable. Like I'm not even kidding this is a gimbal that you can actually run with. So let's do a quick jog on this trail since it's a really flat trail. I shouldn't have to worry too much. All right let's turn around and 
see I'm looking at. All right, I'm jogging through the forest. All right, now a comparison test. Just holding the phone plain. This is the middle zoom and no gimbal. So let's see. All right, phone, no gimbal, super steady only. All right, last one. This one's gonna be the hardest but uh, front-facing camera. Let's see. I don't think this is gonna be very good. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. There are four reasons why you should get this Moza Mini MX Gimbal and why I think this is one of the best smartphone accessories of 2020. It's a really simple and rather cheap way to take your smartphone videography or smartphone vlogging to the next level. So do you have any comments or questions? Leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer your questions. And in the meantime, let's talk about that giveaway. There's a link in the description below that gives you all the information you need to enter that giveaway. The giveaway will go for exactly 30 days from today and one of you will end up winning this Moza Mini MX Gimbal. So good luck, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.